Hey everybody, I'm just... Okay. <laughs> it said waiting for Miss Art Garden. It wasn't showing my stream. I don't know. I, I never get... I never get it. <laughs> hey Bucky, how are you? It's been so long. Let me pop out my chat. And... Let me get this set up. <clears throat> Hopefully everyone is having a wonderful day. <laughs> I just want to double check that this is up, and it is. All right, get my references popped to the front again. I've got uh, everything here, I think. <laughs> okay, looks good. Hey, Broken Legend, how are you? Having a good day, I hope. Back in my squeaky chair. I know I've said this a couple times. <laughs> I can't help it. Okay, so I'm just going to do like a portrait for St. Patrick's Day. Pretty self-explanatory. I've got the sketch down. I've got my reference. Here it is. And I've got my chat in the front, but I gotta shrink it down so I can see part of my reference. Um, yeah. So for the background, I was thinking of doing sort of like a hint of a rainbow. Let me see if I can get this to work though. <laughs> so, um, Let's test this out a little bit before I do the actual painting. I won't spend too long on it. Um, does that look silly? <laughs> it might look a little silly. Uh, I can make the background a little bit lighter. I know I'm losing my sketch. Yeah, and then we can make our sketch darker. So we can see it. Let's try it. <laughs> if I don't like it, I can change it later. You won't see a lot of the background as it is, so... Yeah, it won't matter. <laughs> okay, time to get her colors in. I guess we'll go with just a peach for the skin to start with. And let's see. Put my opacity all the way up. I'll turn my hardness a little bit down. Things are pretty crazy here, actually. Oh no. I hope everything's going okay for you. Uh, is this going to be based on your character art thing? No, it's uh, it's like a reference. This looks too green. A reference from a place called Pexel.com. It's like free to use images. So. It's just based on this lovely lady. I can show you the reference. Hold on, let me uh, drag it over here. This is her. That's who I'm going to be referencing, although I'm going to be changing a couple things up. But that's what it's based off of. A real lady. <laughs> um, I don't know why I'm so messy about this skin, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, hi! Aprenda con punto turismo rondeo? <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. Gracias. Um, I don't actually know if that's Spanish. That might be Portuguese. <laughs> I don't know how to say thank you in Portuguese, but either way, thank you. Okay, and then we're going to make her hair a little bit more red than the actual ladies. So kind of go for a brown. Brown? brown red that's a little too brown let's get a little more red in it bring it down that way bring it over see how that looks that might look okay i'm gonna take the rainbow out for now <laughs> it's throwing me off i want to get my colors down first before we put it up um yeah actually i want all this uh on a separate layer so i think it makes it a little bit easier oops Command Shift V. There we go. Put it right in place. Uh huh. What's happened? Oh, I just got stuck on a mini thing there. All right, we're gonna put this hair in. And I always try to kind of shorten it a little bit so that when we go out with the finer hairs, it has more room to bleed. It doesn't have that hard edge to overcome. But I can also erase it later since it's on its own separate layer. So we'll just kind of plop it in. 
Sorry, my nose is a bit runny. It's uh, been really windy here lately. And it gives me allergies. They shouldn't be too bad, though. I shouldn't be sniffling too much into the mic. Let's hope. All right, so we got some skin tone, hair tone. And then maybe like a... She has a red shirt in the reference. <laughs> I'm going to go with green to keep the St. Patrick's Day dream alive. There we go. And I think this is just mostly hair. So there we go. All right. Um, let's zoom in and start putting in the shadows. Oh, I put her shirt on the hair layer. I'm really bad about it. <laughs> uh, let me double check. I don't have any skin. No, I don't. All right. We'll just put it on this layer. No problem. Okay. So... And let's clean up some little areas here before we continue. Just a little bit there, a little bit here. Uh, oh, that's hair. Uh, it doesn't matter on this. We'll have a little bit of hair here. Is that backtrack? <laughs> and a little bit here. All right. Now let's pick some sheen. So we're gonna keep her tone really flush. So let's go with, see like an orange. Let me turn this all down so we can just be lightly applying it. Hardness down too. Uh, that'll probably work. I might even bump it a little bit more saturated. Hey, comics, comics. Happy early St. Patrick's Day to you, too. I hope you're having a good day. Let me move this down a bit so I can see that. There we go. Uh, yeah, so let's just start putting some shading in. As always, the eyes and under the nose tend to have the most shading. So I'll get that established. Just kind of gently put it in there. <laughs> um, she's going to have some on the bridge of her nose here. And a little bit here. Yeah, I don't know how much around her mouth you put too much. <laughs> it makes them look like unfairly aged. But we'll just kind of plop it in. We can refine it as we go. I'm going to take my sketch and turn it down so I can see a little better. I always have it lighter whoops, when I work on it kind of privately. But in videos, I don't think it shows up, so I always make it really dark. It's kind of a strange, uh, I don't know, difference to work with. All right, and then some under her hair here. Since we got that on a separate layer, we can just push that right to the edge. Put it around here, get it on this side too. Definitely in the corners of her eyes here. There we go. Starting to get a little shading. I want some coming in here a bit. And then uh, start working on the neck. So there's always a lot of shade here. Or maybe I went down too far. <laughs> shade like that. I still don't have any music. I'm sorry about that. I hope I, it's not like staticky and noisy or anything. I, um, I'm still having some trouble over the public domain songs that I used. Those companies, I think they have like collection agencies. <laughs> Go around on YouTube and try to claim anything, whether it's fair or not. So, frustrating for us YouTubers. Alright, so that's established. Uh, I did not mean to mark on her oops, face like that. And I'll have a little bit over here. I haven't painted in forever, so I'm kind of tiptoeing into this. This will be a little bit of a darker side of her face, so yeah, I'll get a little bit in the brow line. That's starting to take some shape, so I think I'll go with a little bit of a darker shade now. Yeah. Okay, this one's a little less saturated, so we can start getting those like real shadowy areas, <laughs> like the corner of her eyes. Let's get the uh, crease of her eye, and we can actually put in her eye. In reference here too so that later when we 
believe as well. <laughs> Still have the eye uh, referenced in. Get that down there. I think that came up a little too much. Come up, fix it by painting the other color back in. Shape up this one. Paint that down a bit. And get the crease in. I think I drew that a little bit too high, so I'm going to bring it down just a touch. <laughs> then we'll have that crease established. Paint a little bit more over here under the eyebrows where there's quite a bit. I'm going to put some makeup on her later, some some uh, green makeup, but I actually think I'm going to do it at, kind of at the end-ish. Just not quite in the beginning here. <laughs> and um, yeah, get this in like that. A little bit around the bulbous part of her nose, and then there's a little bit of light, and then another shadow over here. And we're going to have under the nostril here and here. And there. Yeah, I think this is looking okay. Um, just checking out my reference a bit. Just going to have like a little bit here. I'll, I'll work that in. And uh, yeah, it's starting to shape up. Let's get some lip referencing in. I've lost my shade. That's okay. I'll pick up this one. Get some kind of shadow in like this. <laughs> I should have looked up um, have St. Patrick's Day uh, trivia. <laughs> I didn't think to do it. Hey, Majestic Entertainment News. Happy Sunday. Hope you're having a great day. You get a little bit of shading. I know this aren't going to be the final lip color. But a little bit of shading in that top lip because that always has more shade than the bottom. Typically light comes from the top. Your top lip sticks out. I'm going to take a quick sip of my tea. Alright. Alright, let's go up to the hair. And I want to get some hair shading in. Um, it's always good to kind of establish the dark uh, hair parts around the face. Hi, Zendesen, how are you? Having a good day? I hope, <laughs> or night? Yeah, get some of this darker part here. Just to establish it, and get it kind of in a bow shape here because that hair over is, there is bending out. <laughs> Uh, get a little bit under here, and then it'll sweep out, and we'll have some over in this area. Then come down here, be real nice and dark here. I'm doing good, thanks. <laughs> Having kind of a, a peaceful day compared to my last <laughs> my last week. Just enjoying a little St. Patrick's Day painting. And, um, yeah, I think I'll make this whole section kind of shadowed. It's okay, there's some texture there. We'll blend it in later. And we'll have some crease here, just something here a little bit. Uh, technically, this side will be darker than the other, so I can kind of start laying out some more shading, I guess. Her hair looks a little really dark now, but I'm going to add some more vibrancy later. Maybe I'll have to... Uh, <laughs> Kind of missed this bit here. That's okay, we'll put it in. Maybe I'll have to play around with it a little bit in the hue saturation. <laughs> All right, should she have green eyes? I, I, had, I don't know if I'm going too far with the green for St. Patrick's Day, but I say we embrace it. Let's give her a little bit of yellowish in the green like this. And just start kind of applying them in like that. Just kind of get a color set. Oh, I think that works. All right, let's keep working on the shadows. Oh, I'm forgetting the eyebrows. <laughs> hey, Stubborn Arrest, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, let's get just a hint of eyebrows in here. 
I'll go in and detail them later. I never know how much I'm going to detail in my speed paints, but I like to take it a little bit slow. I work on the detailing as I go. <laughs> hey, Chrissy Canvas Art, how are you doing? <clears throat> I can't stay long because I must eat. <laughs> oh, it's, is it meal time where you are at? Uh, Chrissy says, hi, love. Hope you're well. Thank you. And your art is always amazing. Oh, thanks so much. That means a lot to me. It's always fun because I follow so many wonderful, talented artists. <laughs> I just feel so emboldened when someone's like, your art's nice too. And I'm like, oh, that's so great. Thank you. <laughs> I have some self-doubt sometimes. It's good to have positive, supportive friends. <laughs> um, let's get a little bit of that there. A little bit here. Hmm? And kind of work some darker spots under here. This will be the darkest part. More or less of the nose, I think. I mean, of the face is under the nose. Yeah, a little bit here and the lips, the corners of them, especially this one because it'll be on the shadowy side. <laughs> and yeah, let's take this kind of brownish color. Well, I hope you enjoy your meals and Desu, thanks for, or Desen, th thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you hear slurping noises, it's just me <laughs> drinking my tea. Uh, let's get a little bit more established here. Let's take my sketch down even more and start seeing where I'm at. <laughs> a little bit more established here on the eyes before I lose them. Uh, I didn't mean for her to be so downturned. Let's bring that up just a touch. A little bit up there at the corner and then out here and we'll get that that uh, inner lid down <laughs> in a second. Uh, hey, random cannon fire, but you're blue. So, oh, it was Rubutani. <laughs> I was like, there's a mystery afoot. Oh, it's, it's already been answered. <laughs> uh... How have I been? I've been okay. I've been really busy, <laughs> but I'm glad to come in. I tried to come yesterday on my usual Saturday day. I tried my darndest. I was even going to try to do it at night, but just didn't get to it. So I'm glad to have, have a chance here today. Um, all artists have some self-doubt sometimes. Just got to keep working, keep practicing. <laughs> yes, definitely. Got to keep up your your skills so you don't have to fall back on feeling unsure. Plus I think it's good to just embrace your artwork even if you don't think it's the best out there. <laughs> just keep improving on it. That was my problem is I used to just get like so frustrated I'd want it to be perfect and I'd see like other people who were just like you know the people that are just way more talented <laughs> beyond any hope of catching up and you're like, well, what's the point? But you know, you start working on it. You start getting more into it. So, all right, let's keep kind of blending in these shadings. Uh, well, how have you been, Ruu? I don't, I didn't ask you. Should I call you uh, random cannon fire now? I guess. <laughs> um, hopefully you're doing good. I hope everyone's staying nice and healthy and safe. I keep reading the newspaper and thinking, yeesh, <laughs> scary out there. Um, let's see, her face might need a little bit of cleaning up here with it. I think I blended the hair over a little too much. That's okay. Get that a little more cleaned up. Um, eventually I'm going to go in with like really dark and kind of get this in. Maybe I should just make a line right now so I can have that pre-established. And then her skin might look a little bit more crisp like that maybe. Yeah, a little bit something like that. Gotta go now at a bar. See ya. Okay, we'll have fun at your bar. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so let's see. What do I have here? This is some kind of hard line. Uh, I think I just put a little bit something too light up here. So let's get a little bit darker. Oh, I guess that's on the... Uh, that's probably from when I... 
text the hair off and put it on another layer. Okay, we can get it like that. There we go. And put a little bit of shading at the hair part while we're here. Why not? I'm a jumping around kind of person. <laughs> Uh, there we go. We'll just kind of keep working that. Keep working the hair, keep working the skin. Uh, yeah, I think we're about ready to... I think I'm just going to take the sketch off here in a sec. Let me pop a little bit of shadow edge on the chin before I lose it. And I can blend that in later. I want to make sure I get that in. So I don't lose it. I think that'll work. Um, I have to smooth this out. <laughs> Should be a little more rounded. She's got a little bit of a square jaw here. And I can come up here and whoosh, just even that out a little bit there. Come back in. Reestablish where the shadow is. Like so. I heard a lot of stuff was canceled for St. Patrick's Day, which is a shame. I don't really do much on it either. <laughs> but it's uh, um, like a, I don't know, I'm Irish, so I, so I guess I celebrate it in my heart. <laughs> I have Irish ancestry, I should say. I'm not really Irish-Irish. I don't want to be like stepping on those toes here. Let me get this a little bit darker. Here where the skin is blending in, so we can keep the shape of her face understood. A little bit of shadow, if I could do this in a curve rather than a blotchy straight line. There we go. And then we'll, oops, I did not mean to hit the erase. I meant to hit black key. There we go. Black color. There's no black key that I know of. <laughs> and then we'll just blend that shadow in by giving it a little bit of a soft edge until it just kind of eaves back there. There we go. Okay, and we'll go over that with the hair a little bit later. Alright, let's uh, zoom in and give some detailing to her features before I continue with this shading. For one, I want to put a little bit of a shape to her face here and then her ear in here. Uh, I might have to go and erase this. Kind of over overdid it with the hair up here. It's fine. That's why I put it on a separate layer. And take some of the black. Um, do I know how to real life paint? Uh, I mean I want to say in theory. <laughs> I haven't done it in like 10 years. Maybe longer. I haven't done it since school. It's a while ago me because I'm an old lady. <laughs> um, I can paint with uh, oil. Uh, I have some paintings. I guess I'll just say yes, but I'm not very practiced in it. That would be the simple answer. Um, my usual, the issue why I don't paint traditionally is because uh, <laughs> it's like expensive, first of all. And second of all, I don't know why I keep hitting that eraser. Let me do this so I don't lose my data. It's expensive and I don't have much in the way of uh, room to set up a canvas. And I don't know. <laughs> it's easier to do it on the computer. You don't have to worry too much about all the little things <laughs> like that. <laughs> okay, I don't want to go in too far there. All right. So that's like that a little bit more with this kind of coming out and then we'll go in and add some like little strand details and like that in a bit but uh that's looking better and let's work on some of the shading around her eyes let's blow it up a little bit more I liked painting in oil uh, back when I did do it, but <laughs> I'm not so uh, practiced anymore. Painting in acrylic is okay. You have to be quick about it. I used to get these like drying extenders so it wouldn't dry right away. Um, it was it's a it's a different game, <laughs> but 
if you mess up with oil really bad, you can kind of blend it around and repaint over it and fix it. However, it is more smeary, whereas if you mess up with acrylic, sometimes you can just wait for it to paint, uh, the paint to dry, and then you can just go over it and not worry about it. So both of them have kind of their own thing. I've become really reliant on how controlled you can make everything in uh, with the computer. <laughs> like every little mistake you can micro fix it <laughs> and stuff. This should go down at an angle. Let me grab a little bit darker of a color. Should go down, kind of meet up a little bit more. Crease there. And then we should get some. Uh, I don't want to go too crazy here because I'm going to paint over this a little bit in the future, but we can get a little bit of shading established while we're here anyways. Smooth out all those lines I just added. <laughs> um, a little bit of white up here under the, not white, but lighter shade up here under the eye, and then coming in here we'll get both shading there. So something like that, and then we'll come over here, kind of fix this up. Um, I think there'd be a little bit like this over here. Maybe pick up a little bit lighter there. It's not showing. There we go. <laughs> And uh, let's get this established. There's always kind of like a, a line here that catches the light. A little bit here too. I don't know why I'm going in with such a dark color. <laughs> and then like a little bit more of a shaded, shaded look here. Yeah, and then we'll have that over here. And then we'll have the brightness here. And then we'll have a little shadow here that I kind of missed out on. That's just very subtle, so we're gonna want to barely blend that in. Blend all this in so we don't have such a hard shadow edge. So we'll take that, blend it in. There we go. She might still have, let me, whoops, a little bit too much there. There we go. <laughs> I'll just keep saying there we go. And one day it will be done. <laughs> and let's see, let's get this matched up here. Uh, should I work on her eyes a little bit more first? I'm so like ADD about what I work on. I jump around a lot. Let's just start estab establishing the inner lid here. And oh, I'm getting a spinning beach ball. Oh, no, we're good. Okay. Maybe I should give it a save before I lose it. <laughs> hey, easy, easy cooking and tips. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great Sunday, enjoying your time. All right, let's get just a little bit of a waterline in here. That'll come and go right to the edge there. Oops, if I can get it, there we go. It's a little fine-tuned painting. Um, and I'm gonna use this. I was kind of heavy-handed over here. Uh oh, we got a spinning beach ball again. I don't know why I've been having so many problems with Photoshop taking up all my memory. I've s messed around with the preferences, but you know how Photoshop is. Adobe, I'm calling you out. <laughs> Alright, we get this waterline here set up. And a little bit more shadow here before we lose that. Alright, let's go down to the nose. We'll come back to the eyes and work on them a little bit more fine-tuned in a bit. And we'll just pop these in over here like this. And by these I mean shadows. <laughs> She's got a little bit of a, um, like a shadow ring. I don't know what it's called. And then there's a little bit of a highlight here. A little bit of a highlight here. Just gotta even this out. Right now it doesn't look super symmetrical. There we go. And put the line crease in here. Line crease down here. Like so. And 
actually that's uh talk about unsymmetrical <laughs> i can see it i can see it let me fix it before i put that line crease in go back in time here on my history put it up here i've lost the color that's okay i can pick another one up that's similar to it there we go And we're going to have a little bit of lightness here. Just kind of highlight that. There we go. All right. So under the bridge of the nose here, we'll have a little shadow. We'll have this go up. And we're going to blend in those highlights. And I'm going to give her a bit of a more shaped up nose looking a little bit better I think the reference shows that there's quite a bit of a shadow over this whole area here so I'll add a tiny more shade there uh, and then the lightest part is up in this line here so I'll throw that in um, let's make that so it's not so pointy <laughs> and yeah, I think she has like a weird section over here. So let's add some shading in here and get that a little more adjusted. So where this goes down in here, we're going to throw that shade here, throw a little bit more shade here, I think. So we'll just have to kind of keep blending in. I want to keep this white or this highlighted part there so I don't lose that detail. So I'm going to make sure I don't lose that. I'm going <laughs> to. I don't want to throw it in that light, but I do want to have uh, just a touch there to reestablish that before I lose it all. And uh, yeah, bring that in a little bit here so it's not shaded out so far. She's got a little bit of a crooked look here, so let me just put it out here. Straighten this up, move that down, move that in. That's a little better, a little less crooked. <laughs> I just need to clean it up now. All right, um, let's bring this shade part in here too. Kind of establish where the bridge of her nose is. I kind of didn't have that super well done. Okay, so now her nose is a little bit darker than the rest, so. I'll just blow out a little bit of that there and put a little bit more shading around here to match it. <laughs> that match up those values, I think. And this actually, I want to go down in here and be a little bit darker on this side anyways. Alright. Okay. So a few little tweaks and I think we'll have this. I want this to move in. So I'm just going to put that hair like that and then bring the shade down here. <laughs> and then uh, kind of work on this shadow. It should go like this and like this. And then this should be in. This is actually kind of bright here and here. Yeah. <laughs> it's weird working on these like little fine details. Oops, I want a little bit of a lighter color here. And I might go in with the liquify tool and move it in a bit if it's still looking disproportional when I move it out. Um, let's get that back in there like that because I kind of lost that shading. There we go. Okay, so what next? I think the lips a bit. <laughs> kind of keep working on the detailing even if it's a little bit of a slow process but I do try to work a little bit faster on my streams so that I can get <laughs> progress made all right let's see what color for her lips um, let's try this one two gray let's move it in a bit more saturated that might create work a little bit better I just want to get this shape. Uh, this might be a little too purple too. Is this like as red as it goes? Let's add a little orange then. Yeah, that'll work a little better. So we'll get this 
shaped in here. Still looks a little purple, but I'll go over it. <laughs> and uh, then down here will be the darkest at the edge and at the seam. So we'll just kind of throw that in like that. Let's make this a little more saturated as we go over it in the future. <laughs> so like this part here will be a little bit brighter. We can have the uh, more shapely bottom part go down like that. And let's grab some of this darker part here. And I don't know what I'm doing there. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> uh, add a little bit of detailing in the lips here. So I'm just going to add some creases. You know how the lips look a little puckered. And bring that over. Okay, so we got that mapped out. Now I'm going to take much darker. Start working the darker shade in a little bit more. The picture reference has her lips um, very, uh, I, I guess, like wrinkled or puckered or whatever. <laughs> Not puckered, but I'm going to go a little bit lighter on them, I think. Just start to add those lines like that. Uh, and then we'll establish that there's a little bit of a dark part here, and then we'll go over it with a nice light pink and just kind of cut away a little bit at the shad shading. Shading? Shading? <laughs> you know what I mean. Alright. I bring some of that color in, and then we'll do some color over here. And bring in some highlight areas. There's a couple here. Got a couple here. I think I should do this overlay actually. So I don't lose all my detailing. <laughs> so this section uh, should have some highlights here. We're just going to block them in, sketch them in. <laughs> uh, a little bit here like that. And then we'll go to the red. Nice cherry red and just kind of blend it in by doing that. Bring the top lip the same color. Okay, we'll have a little bit of highlights at this top lip as well. Why not? Like that, and like that. Okay, go back to normal and blend that all in. So we want a few uh, shadow areas like this and here here. Bring these up a little bit, but less saturated, <laughs> less vibrant, less, I don't know, opaque. <laughs> and then bring in some texture there. Why not? It's not bad for a start. Her lips are kind of unshaped. I might give them a little bit of tuning over here and here. Bring them up but then down at the sides. I think actually I made this a little too wide. So I'll bring that up like there and then down at the sides like that. <laughs> and down at the sides like that. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is like for liquefied. Let's go in right now. I'm going to duplicate my thing, go into liquefy, fix a couple little things that I want to work on. <laughs> Uh, as I slurp a little of tea while it loads. Alright, so the magic liquify tool, which you can't use when traditional painting. <laughs> uh, I'm going to bring this lip out just a touch. I'm going to just try to make it a little more, more symmetrical. Like her nose is here and then her lips are just a little bit over here. So I'm going to try to bring them over a touch. Uh, there's a few little things in her nose here. And here should just be brought in, I think, just a touch. You can do this with fine tuning your the brushes and stuff, but I don't know, I think liquify is good. I also think I made her eyes a wee bit squinty. Maybe just that one. <laughs> um yeah, this one still looks a little off. Let's take a look at that. So little subtle changes. I think they make a difference. Let's flip it and see. Um, I'm worried this eye looks higher, but <laughs> also doesn't on the little 
like you know when I look at the navigator picture it looks a little more symmetrical uh, but I do see this nose is off so let's go one more time the liquify fix this side of the nose slow this up a bit here and then bring this in and bring this up a bit does that look better um let me flip this yeah still a little off uh one more quick change <laughs> one more change I'm gonna bring this one this side just to weave it up uh, if I can grab it at the right angle I guess I can bring this weave it down yeah there we go I have a little bit of fixing to do her nose whatever this part of the nose is called seems a little bit wide so I want to kind of go in and fix this up uh, let's pick like a pinkish let's pick this little tiny bit more red and kind of work this in because the subsurface scattering in the nose kind of makes it look a little strange and pink <laughs> so I want to get some of that pink in there um, just around there and we can put a little tiny bit um, maybe not there maybe more like uh, no I think it looks good on the bridge or the bulbous part or whatever <laughs> yeah a little touch there actually uh, I'm gonna take this back actually and put it on overlay the point of overlay is that it won't eat the colors underneath so you want to add a little bit of red flush to your character you can add a little bit with the overlay um, put a little bit in this corner area here and I actually want this whole area a touch darker so I'm actually gonna try uh, let's start with multiply actually multiply kind of move in a little bit of a darker shade here that's a little too unsaturated got to play around with it a little bit <laughs> until you get what you want yeah there we go and that's just is gonna add a fake um, bit of shadow there all right go back to normal change my opacity back up and let's work on I don't know I think I'm gonna work on her jaw because it, lo it looks a little bit off uh, I'm just gonna have a little bit of a brightness here a little bit of a shading down here it'll come in here the apples of the cheeks will be nice and bright let's get some shading under the eye work on getting that a little more set into the face so it doesn't look like it's floating there uh, same over here I want to get some shading under this eye doesn't look like it's floating in the face a little bit of brightness there and a little bit down here to kind of set it there all right and then we can come back to this jaw um, I'm worried that the hair has messed up the shape of it I think it should come down a little bit like that just to fill it out a bit and I think over here it's sticking out too much so we're gonna use the hair to go over it a little bit like I don't know I should have picked a more red color for her hair <laughs> like this and go over it like that and we'll work in the shading to match have like a little bit of shading there a little bit here well we'll come in and fix up that hair a bit just wanted to kind of help myself with the shape of her jaw here we'll use that hair layer to kind of shape it in um okay let's go back to this layer work in a little bit more shading here uh we'll set the mouth i remember i was worried at the beginning 
putting too much shading here, but now she doesn't look like she has enough. So let's let's get, pick a let's pick a darker color here. Uh, that looks a little yellow. Let's make it a wee bit more red. Yeah, that's probably too dark. <laughs> but I'm gonna use it for the nose real quick here, and then I'm gonna take it and lighten it by just picking it. Going down here. We'll put a little bit of uh, highlight in this area here in a minute. In the meantime, let's get this a little more here, a little bit over here, a little bit here. So we're going to blend that in. I want just a touch of it to carry up there so it's not just like suddenly on her face down here. Blend this in, streak this in. So you can just see a little bit of the highlights there. I wonder if her lips are a little too small. Set. I don't know. I think her face might, might look just a little bit big. I think it's this side, actually. I might go in with the liquify in a second. <laughs> I kind of love that liquify. <laughs> uh, huh. Give this just a tiny streak of highlight there to break up that shadow. And, um, yeah. Alright, zooming in. Let's fix up these lips a bit because I think I've lost um, the little tiny thing there that goes up there and then we can blur it in here a bit and it'll give her a tiny bit of a smile although I think I might need to um, I don't know, fix it <laughs> let me get that in here like that uh -huh. and then there'll be a little bit one over here Oops. Okay. So we'll add a little bit to make sure that this looks like it's set into the skin. Let me carry this shadow over a bit so you can see it a little bit more in the corner of her mouth here. A little bit more into the skin. I want to add some highlights around it, as weird as that sounds. It's a little highlight in the corner of her mouth. A wee bit of one that goes up here. We're going to really blend in so it's not like an obvious all of a sudden shadow. <laughs> um, the dark part here and then we'll have a little bit of a lighter part come down here. It's it's all kind of a build up. <laughs> uh, subtleness. It's the trick of the drawing skin tones. Alright and then we'll have this go kind of under a little bit like that. <laughs> This will have the highlighty part here. This will carry the shadow out there. And we'll just kind of blend it all in as we go. A little tiny highlight on her chin. And then it'll go down like so. Bring that so it's not just a hard edge, but it's a little more blended in. All right, let me see here. This is looking OK. Let me uh, tweak the levels because I think I've played it a little safe and I'm not getting any uh, contrast in. Let me see. So that's... Oh, it's saving. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's having some trouble with the viewing part. As soon as that goes from 97... Let me just cancel. No, actually, I don't know. Preview. That's before. That's after. Before and after. I like the after, but I want to take a little bit more red into it. Uh, that's going to make it look green. Um, maybe a little less blue. Alright. <laughs> Just tweaking it. Sorry. Uh, okay. We'll do this. And then we'll just take a little saturation out because when you contrast it, it kind of brings up the saturation. So that's before, that's after. Just a little tiny touch out so she's not like super glowing. And then I'm going to go into that liquify <laughs> and fix up the lips a bit so they, they, they just don't look so happy. So we're going to fake it. We're going to fake it and give her... This is like what Facetune is now. <laughs> give her a fake smile. Look at that. Amazing. Just a little stretch of the lips, and she looks a little bit happier. 
And we'll need to do a little bit of tweaking on those. Um, hey, Friday, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Uh, I think I might try to make her lips just a touch bigger. They look a little disproportionate. I can't tell if it's because I made her face too big. <laughs> All right, feather. Uh, we'll do like 15, 16, that's fine. And just a touch bigger lips. That's before, that's after. A little tiny subtle change that might make a difference. We'll see. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's go up to the hair layer here and work on getting this a little sharper edge because it's real fuzzy right now. Big like, good afternoon. You're good laying on a cloud. <laughs> uh, whoops. Uh oh. Photoshop's glitching. No glow. No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear you're having a good day so far. Where's my hardness at? Okay. Yeah, and just sharpen up this side of the face too. There we go. And. We're going to need a shade over on this side of her face. That's a bit darker. That'll work. Let's go down to the actual face. And we're going to bring this in and down. And we'll have to work this in a little bit. I think I'm going to turn my hardness down even more now. Make this a little more saturated. Uh, I'm doing good Friday. Uh, hey, Broken Legend, welcome back. <laughs> Didn't miss much, just me kind of fumbling around with the mouth, trying to get it a little bit more worked out. And let's go back up to the hair and clean this up so it's a little stronger of a line. Yeah. Okay. And let's go to let's go to multiply. And add just a tiny bit of oops on this layer shading in here so we can kind of get that without going in and picking all the necessary shading so the multiply tool will do it for us <laughs> and I'll get a little bit of shading in the corners here where the light won't be bouncing off as strong there we go Tiny bit of shading here in the corners. Actually, I'm going to go to overlay for the eyes. The eyes are tricky. <laughs> and a little bit over here. And uh, huh. a little under the nose, maybe. All right. A little bit there. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give her some like actual proper eyes and then put some makeup in them. Not in the eyes, but <laughs> on top of the eyes. Let's go to normal again and bring up our opacity. Yeah. All right. I've lost some highlighted areas that I wanted to keep. I hear my birds fighting. <laughs> oh, parakeets are such jerks to each other. Let me just add a hint of a shade there, even if it doesn't go all the way down. And, uh, yeah. All right, back to the eyes. <laughs> I'm so ADD. Uh, let me turn this down a bit. It's a little too strong at this stage. I need a soft blend, a little soft blend. There we go. And we'll pick this up, put it over the eyes since I've kind of tweaked with the stuff a wee bit. I want to make sure that's nice and highlighted. We'll go over here, put this one in as well. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take a sip while I think about what I'm going to do. I think I need to fix 
this. Uh oh, what are you doing, Photoshop? <laughs> my Photoshop is glitching out. I hope it's not affecting the stream. I got my reference over my stream, so you guys will have to let me know if it's totally glitching out and you can't see. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll smooth that out a bit. Get this in a little bit. Um, let's make it a green so I don't. Hey, Annalisa. Hey everybody, my family's going out for drive through lunch soon, so I want to drop in and say hello. Well, hello! Everyone's been having plans today. It's good to see people joining up and enjoying the new weather. The new weather? <laughs> the better weather. Warmer weather. Presumably. Let's get some eyes in here. There's always a little bit of a darker ring around the eyes. Kind of establish that. And uh, we'll put a little bit of shading in there like that. Get the pupil in carefully <laughs> so they're not, hopefully not uh, wonky. So it look a little straight? I hope so. <laughs> this one might be a little over. Let me redo that one. Like so. Hopefully that's a little bit better. <laughs> uh, add in some shading in here. Um, hmm. That. Like that. I always overshade my eyes, but I think they look fine, so <laughs> I don't mind. Little, little detail things that you like to do, you know? Let's add some red in here. And work on the white a little bit here. Don't want to lose all that shading though. Add a little tiny uh, bit in the corner where like her eye is wet, I guess. <laughs> Same over here. Uh, oops, I want the white. A little tiny bit in the corner there where her eye is white and wet, whatever. <laughs> a little tiny highlight here. Okay, so let's do the makeup now. Actually, wait, I need to finish by putting some lights in her eyes. Make the hardness a little bit more. And we'll just, uh, I don't know, something like that. You gotta be even on each side. And we'll make this part here in the middle really white compared to the rest. Give it kind of a more interesting than just a circle for it. <laughs> uh, Huh. Those eyes look straight. <laughs> this one might be going up a little weird. Okay, anyways, we'll go over with overlay. Um, I'll just turn my hardness all the way back down. Ugh, if I could have any control. <laughs> did I do... I was looking when I did this, but I guess that was a while ago. Put a little bit more shading in the top here. Tiny bit at the sides here. Get a little bit more white area over here, over here, and put a little bit of a tear duct whiteness in, Oops, if I can control it. Yeah, just a little tiny bit of line there, a little tiny bit of line there. When you blow this out, it's a little bit more neutral. She definitely has cross eyes. <laughs> I can fix it. Filter, liquify. It's this eye, I think. So if we just very carefully move this, uh, let's move it down, uh, let's make our brush bigger. <laughs> Alright, that's a little better. And then make it smaller, and I can move the pupil out just a little bit, it's a little more straight. Alright, let's take a look. So that was before, that's after, before, after, I think it's a little bit better. Hopefully, we can flip it and take a double look. Gotta flip for a second. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's okay. <laughs> All right, uh, I want to do the makeup, but before I do that, uh, I want to fix up a few little things with Liquify first, including I think her nose might just be a touch too low. So let's see if I can move that up a wee bit. 
her eyes. I hope they're not too high up. If I move them down just a touch, maybe that'll help. And then we'll just kind of shape up her face. It's a, she, the um, reference I'm using, she has like a little bit of a thing there. <laughs> and then it comes in a little bit here in this shape. Let me get this right though because I don't want to butcher all the work I've done so far. Uh, let's take a look. Is that better? Yeah, I think so. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go with it. <laughs> we'll go and add my on overlay. I want to be on normal. Uh, bring some little touches in here, like there sh this line should be broken up a bit. Make the nose look a little better. I think a while ago I made this a little too narrow. So I'll widen that a bit. Um, blend in these a bit. Actually you have like a little bit that goes over here. I'm going to blend in with this highlighted area. nice and subtle and yeah bring this out a bit here on this side mm -hmm. all right and then one last little thing I think her nose might be a wee bit small so feather it maybe 15 and we'll bring this up just a wee bit. Try to stay kind of faithful to the model, even though for some reason our, her face <laughs> looks a little swollen. I'm going to move the hair in and see if that'll help. Um, I don't know what, what it is. This looks like a little bit disproportioned. But that's okay. Okay, so let's do the hair. I want to get some nice reds and I don't know what I've opened here. Layer style? <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> Uh, let's get some nice reds in because right now she's looking like very gray hair. So I'm going to throw some reds on top and we'll blend these in as we go. Yeah. Get her hair nice and colorized. <laughs> Originally she had this little bit here. Let me throw that in. It's a little bit of shading. And. Work in some shading here. Some streaks. <clears throat> oh, hey, Egyptian gamer. Sorry. I was into the hair. <laughs> I'm now feeling better since last time we talked. I talk, I got over negativity. I'm going to say strong and be a proud Egyptian. Just wanted to say hi quick before I go to sleep. Oh, yeah, it's really late over there. Well, thanks for stopping by. I'm always happy to see you. <laughs> Hope you're having a, a good night. And I'm glad to hear that you've, you've come to accept your heritage more. You should always be proud of who you are. I think it'd be cool to be Egyptian, of Egyptian blood. You got some really fun ancestors. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm really streaking her hair now. That's okay. Let's get some, some highlights in. That'll help. Let's make them a little bit orange. Is this not bright enough? Let's make it a little bit brighter. A little more yellow then. <laughs> yeah. You gotta find the balance for her hair. She'll she'll have some, some strange streaks until I figure out how I wanna play it down. <laughs> That's a little bit more like a color I want. So I have to work in those shadings. I guess I was going more for like a ginger red than red red dyed. <laughs> uh, be safe from Corona. I really hate this year still. Yeah, yeah. I was I was reading the news today and I was like, man, that's it's bad. <laughs> it's no fun. Okay, let's get some shading in here and here. Oops. Bring this out. It's really dark here, and then there'll be a few little dark ones here. 
Same with this really dark here, and then we'll bring it out a little bit more here. I don't think the value of her face is great yet, like the matching. <laughs> um, so I might have to go in still and do that. Let me that kind of like this. Better to go in with it like that and then bring the streaks over, I think. Can establish some highlights that way. <laughs> it's cool to be an Egyptian of pharaonic origin. <laughs> hey Friday. Let's see. Get some streaks in here. I don't know what I'm doing with her hair. <laughs> Maybe I should just go all red. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a new layer on. I'm going to go with overlay and I'm just going to pick like a nice... Oh, Photoshop is freezing. Hold on. <laughs> a really nice cherry red. And I'm just going to see what it would look like. Does she look better as a cherry red? I actually think she does. Gives her some like interest. <laughs> All right, why not? Why not? We'll give her some cherry red coloring. Um, so that's before, that's after. I kind of like it better, cherry red. <laughs> you still here Friday? I think I said, <laughs> uh, I, I lose track of who I wrote red, red. I'm sure I have at least one, uh, all, at least all or one another build the pyramids, but I feel like most of them are from the New Kingdom, like Ramses. Ramses? I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Pharaonic would be a great title for my series. That would be cool. Have you still been working on that? I'm still excited to see what you come up with. <laughs> uh, huh. Oh, did I not do this right? Let me see something real quick. Let me... If... That's way too bright. <laughs> but, I don't lose much data so is she looking a little too McDonald's now <laughs> uh, let's take a little bit of the red out all right okay now we got to work on making this so it doesn't look so uh, let's actually take a little bit of the saturation out too just a tiny bit pharaonic legends pharaonic <laughs> definitely not pharaonic wars sound like Star Wars too much. Pharaonic Wars. The, the Pharaoh Minutes. I think Lucas Studios would come after you. Or Disney or whoever. <laughs> I heard that Disney had to shut down this week their, their uh, um, what do you call them? Theme parks. I thought that was it's probably really disappointing if you've like saved up to go and then you're all out. But I understand they don't want to spread anyone getting sick there. I'm not sure what's going on with her hair. I really botched it, but I'm going to keep working on it here. I think this should be a little bit lighter there and then we'll add the shadow in here to establish that that's like a section coming out okay let's zoom in uh, I know the saga title will be called <laughs> the uh, pharaonic saga yeah that'd be pretty cool Give her some eyebrows. Something a little bit better than what she had. <laughs> Even if they're not perfect. Uh, let's add a little bit of shading under those eyebrows. So they can look a little bit more defined. I don't know. Something like that. Alright, I still think her... She's like a little too dark. I don't know. 
Now she looks too close to her hair, but she does need a little change. So let's work on, we'll bump this up and then we'll take a little of the red out, maybe. Uh, that's before and that's after. And then we can cut the saturation down so she matches a little bit better. I'm going to work on one thing real quick with the liquify tool or something like, yeah, IDK. It's looking bad. Uh, it's looking bad. <laughs> it's looking nice. Not bad. Thank you. I haven't painted for a while, so I was a little bit worried. So I'm having a few issues, but I think I'm getting it now. You did write something. Yay. There we go. She's got like saggy skin. <laughs> Move it up a little bit. Maybe this whole thing has been moved down too much. If I move it up a bit. I might have moved it down at some point, but I don't remember when that would have been. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I think this is all hidden by hair. But I want to... Also, she's got really sleepy eyes, so I'm just going to very little bit bring those up a bit. There. A little bit better, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's go in now and do the eye makeup. You called it Night of the Pharaoh. Oh, that's exciting. Have you published any of this? Have I been missing it? <laughs> All right, let's uh, go on a new, actually we'll just copy this one, give our brush the overlay, and we're going to add some like green makeup look to her. Uh, actually, before I do overlay, I'm going to have to do normal so it can bind to the right pigment. So yeah, we're just going to put a little bit of green established up here. Actually, I don't want to go that high. <laughs> green established here and a little touch under her eye a little green established here and a little touch under her eye and then we'll go with like more forest green with the overlay it's about in oh, oh broken Le legend says maybe add some roseness to the cheeks yeah that's that's a good idea go in with a little bit of pink uh, it's about an Egyptian security guard who renounced his heritage after traumatic events in school where he was bullied for it and other bad stuff and he hears the museum he works in is hosting an event, an Egyptian exhibit, uh, exhibition event. <laughs> oh yeah, that sounds cool. Alright, let's get some of that there, a little bit under here. She's going to look a little bit like Poison Ivy, I think. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll just blast a tiny bit here. This will be like my makeup in real life. <laughs> It'll be really messy. <laughs> Alright, before I forget, let's zoom out uh, with the overlay. Let's pick a nice pink and add some rosiness to her cheeks. Um... Actually, I want multiply, not overlay for this. A little rosiness to her cheeks. Tiny touch on her nose, maybe. Oh, that's a little bit much, isn't it? <laughs> I went full on. Uh, let's cut this down to like 5%. There we go. We can control this a little better. A little tiny bit on her nose. Uh, she still looks kind of... I don't know, her face shape is <laughs> still off. I think I just need to... I think it's this side looks a little droopy. Let's fix it. We just gotta keep working on it. Uh, he is then told to stay at night and guard the Egyptian artifacts despite reluctant... He hears the voice of a pharaoh who keeps speaking to him before meeting in person. I won't tell the rest. You gotta keep some mystery. Uh, yeah, that sounds really good. I'm looking forward to whenever I get to read it or, or see more about it. Okay, and then this eye is a little bit too far over. 
And let's bring in her cheeks, because I do think she has a little bit of a swollen face look. I don't know what I've done to the poor girl. <laughs> uh, let's see what that difference is. Whoop, whoop, look at this underneath. That's how much I've come in. All right, let's redo it. Let me um, filter liquefy on just this layer. So it will come in with the whole thing. Like that, and then we'll bring her eye over just a touch. And we'll do the same little move in moments here. If I can get this without squishing her nose in. Like that. Uh, did I move her eye in? That looks off. Uh, yeah. I guess this is the hair layer then that I'm seeing. Let me fix this real quick. <laughs> I'm really happy I wrote something like this kind of because I can kind of relate to where I wanted to give up on my heritage, but I won't. Strong arms. <laughs> I'll have to like, thank you. I think that dislike is Mark Anthony. But he's not bad anymore. He's cool now. <laughs> oh, do I have a dislike? <laughs> it's okay. I get one on every video. I think there's someone out there who's mad at me. <laughs> uh, let's bring this up a bit. Yeah, we'll bring this in. Whoa. Too much. Um, oops. Liquify brush. Yeah, that's where we want to stop. We're at here. Yeah. So we'll bring the hair in a little bit here. I think that will patch it up. She just looked a little like droopy or off. I was trying to fix that up. So maybe that'll help. <laughs> How are we drawing her? Which was the original facing side? I think it was this. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably. Um, okay. Let's bring this in a little bit here bring some streaks up so it doesn't look like it's just randomly falling out. Something like that. And then we can round this off. This might actually need to be pulled out a bit more. All right. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, I'll see all, all the ways to fix it afterwards. That's how it goes with these things. But... Let me finish. I think I was going to give her a little more rosiness. And then I'll finish the eye makeup. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, yeah, round overlay. A little bit more rosiness. We'll go to normal. Let's blend out. Since I've moved this, I've lost a lot of... Um, I don't know, smoothness. <laughs> He's not bad anymore. He's cool now. <laughs> Mark Anthony's turned a new leaf, huh? Bring that cheek out a bit to match it now. Bring this one out a bit. Bring this down a bit. Blend that in. Got a little bit. <laughs> a little bit more. Alright, why not? <laughs> Let's go in and finish this eye makeup. Um, you wish you had a paint version like this one? <laughs> Maybe half half. One side is normal me, one side is pharaonic. Pharaon, pharaoh, or pharaoh. I don't know if I'm saying that word right. <laughs> Oops. Photoshop's been glitching a lot lately. I don't know what it is. Let's add a little bit of highlight on her eyes here. And uh I'm gonna do something more. Oh the lashes. Let's get some lashes in. So she can have a nice streak here, a few lashes that go up. And out like this. Am I on normal? Yeah. And a few little, little hints of them down here a little bit. Now we'll do the same down here. A few little hints. Just draw a few little 
stragglers and then make some marks like that. The lashes are coming out. And then we'll give her some nice long lashes on this side since the other side is hidden. <laughs> Oops. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Photoshop's been uh, glitching out. It's It keeps buffering or something. I don't know if that's what you call it. Let me do one more thing. I'm saying it right. Yay. <laughs> and give her some uh, freckles. And then... Uh, um, We'll make an overlay. Yeah. Oh, see, my brush isn't loading now. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Lunata. Such a pleasant Sunday surprise. I'm watching from the beginning, but just now I was able to beg your daughter's tablet, steal my daughter's tablet, and write you. Absolutely adore the painting. Thank you. I'm uh, trying to do something for... It's been a while since I've painted. Just trying to do something kind of for, for St. Patrick's Day. All right, let's, uh, oh, my brush. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to work before, let's get this spaced out a little bit for these kind of to be the freckles. I want them kind of clumped and we're gonna just kind of play around with this. So a little slice jitter, a little bit of ankle jitter. Actually, I think these should just be flat out straight like that. Uh, a little bit of, uh, roundness <laughs> and see how that works okay let's blow this in actually let's make this more spaced I think we can just throw in these a little bit yeah a few little um, freckles these are pretty round <laughs> that's okay and uh, so that's a stylized painting. <laughs> a few up here. I actually don't want these super. Might have picked too dark of a color. So we're going to have them barely visible. Uh, oh, because I'm on black. That's why. <laughs> All right. Let's pick this color. See if I can get this a little more. Maybe like a, a dark one like that. We got a few up here on her face. A few more little ones across her nose. Do freckly people have them on their chins? Maybe a few. <laughs> uh, we can have them go down her face, her cheeks a little more too. She definitely has an asymmetrical face. <laughs> Let me pull this side of her cheek out a little bit. So it got too squished in, I think. There we go. And uh, we'll just slowly, slowly erase a bit of this hairline. There we go. That's a little more matched now. <laughs> uh, oh. Um, oh. Broken legend. Sorry. <laughs> hey, just an observation. Check on the right seems... A uh, cheek on the right seems more defined and lifted than the one on the left and is giving a weird effect to the painting. Cheek on the right is more defined. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what I was just trying to fix. You saw it before me. You're smarter than me. <laughs> um, I think if I bring that out, I don't know. I'm having some problems. Sometimes I'll go back to the sketch. I think when I sketched her out, I made this cheek too big and it's thrown me off the whole time. Hard to say. Does it look better now in your opinion? <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, let's get rid of this strange little line here. Whoops, I don't have the right brush. Go back to a soft brush. Oh, it's not loading. Why do you do this to me, Photoshop? Is it finally frozen? <laughs> Maybe it's my tablet. No, nope, it's just Photoshop. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Here we go. I don't know what's going on. It's been doing that all week. I need to check the settings again. Alright, and then we'll add a little contour down in this cheek to make up for it. So she has a little bit that comes in there. Yeah, something like that. Maybe we can bring that up a little bit. <laughs> uh, oh, how much from 1 to 10 does she look like you? <laughs> you you're guessing 5 to 7? Um, She might have the same 
skin tone as me. I'm pretty pale. Uh, I have brown eyes, <laughs> brown hair. So I don't know. The, the model's much prettier. <laughs> I look more trollish. I, no, I don't know. Uh, she might look a little bit like me. There's a mirror. Let's see what my nose looks like compared to her. Uh, I don't know. She. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do a self-portrait. If I had to say, uh, other than looking prettier than me, <laughs> I'd probably look a, pretty, a little bit similar. Looks like the left needs a little more shadow. Not sure. Yeah, maybe a little more contour. Even more. Let's bring it in from this side. There we go. Oh, maybe that's a little too much, but bring it in a little bit more like that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is one of those things I think I might need to like go and and come back to. <laughs> I feel like Egypt is very big in my life since I love my ancient Egypt heritage since three to four years. Yeah, it's good that you ha have such a passion for it. I didn't do anything with her shirt, did I? I'm just going to quickly do something. <laughs> I'll come back to this. That's the dangerous. Oh, I lost her little rainbow bit. Uh, it made such a difference. <laughs> uh, let's just add some some finishing touches, shall we? And then I can. Uh, we, we'll call it. It's it's a little off. Her eyes ended up very droopy. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll make an overlay here, and we'll add not another rainbow. <laughs> I'm gonna add like a little bit of green coming up from this side. Uh, a little bit of maybe like a blue teal from down here. There we go. It's kind of St. Patrick y. She <laughs> she's got a few issues, but <laughs> I don't know. She she is what she is. I think I'm going to call it because my Photoshop is acting kind of weird. I don't know what's up with it. I might need to just restart. But uh, thanks everyone for coming by. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll fix this up and then post it on my uh, community board or whatever that's called. So uh, I hope you are all having a wonderful day. I think I'm going to call it now. So have a good night or day or whatever it is. Uh, Broken Legend and Lenata and Friday if you're still here and Egyptian Gamer Geek and thanks everyone for coming by and, and seeing me. I know it's been a while. I ended up having kind of another stressful week. <laughs> but uh, I might do some more live streams now that I'm apparently quarantined at home. I don't know if I said but my state's one of those states that got hit. I live in Colorado so they're asking people to stay in. So <laughs> you might be seeing more of me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day. I really appreciate you stopping by and keeping me company. And uh, enjoy your St. Patrick's Day if I don't talk to you before then. <laughs> Alright, thanks everyone. Bye bye.